Welcome once again back to our live evening devotion. Welcome. Good night. Good evening. If you are new, my name is Keisha Perez. And I'm Philip Perez. And it's great to have you here on our live. You can catch us here from Sunday to Thursday, 7 Central. We encourage you to find hope to Christ Jesus and grow close with him, which we must say today is the last day of our evening devotion. Wait, but only for the week. Mm -hmm. So... It will give you enough time to study God's word and get to know him more closer so that when we start back on Sunday, you're fresh, you feel fresh and ready to, to devote your time studying God's word, right? But for now, our topic for today is... When God does not delight in sacrifices. Oh... Are your sacrifice for the Lord is good? Are you doing it out of love? Let us hear. But for now, let us start with a word of prayer. Oh God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, thank you again for this evening devotion. We pray that it will be a blessing to those who, who, who is listening and those who will be listening. We pray that you will continue to bless us with your word. Continue to... Uh, Watch us grow and nourish us with your word. For you are awesome, God. Thank you again for always being there for us. Thank you always. Thank you again for always uh, uh, giving us a word, a word of encouragement, a word that will help us uh, grow in grace. Jesus, Son, Jesus, precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Our opening song is... Taken from him, number 604. We know not the hour. No one know the hour, the time, or the hour when our Christ Jesus will come. But that's the reason why, as children of God, we need to be ready. And when we said ready, that's mean your life needs to be right. So when he come, you can be with him up in heaven. Welcome, welcome to our life. We have their Jackie, we have their Justin, and to all the rest of viewers out there, we just want to say welcome and thanks for viewing. We love you all, and we hope that you, you um, are being inspired so far, and that you will share these, these um, share the video, share it around so others can be blessed too. You know, this blessings is not for you, and, and comment and like if you if you enjoy the serve if you enjoy the devotion you make sure you like so we can know that you are enjoying it right let us sing we know not the hour of the master appearing yet signs are foretold that the moment is nearing when he shall return this the promise most cheering but we know not the he will come he will come let us watch and be ready he will come he will come hallelujah hallelujah he will come in the clouds of the father's bright glory but we know now the there's light for the wise who are seeking salvation. There's truth in the book of the Lord's revelation. Each prophecy is born to a great consummation. But we know now the hour. He will come. He will come. Let us watch and be ready. He will come. He will come. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, he will come in the clouds of his father's bright glory. But we know not you. We watch and we pray with our lives streaming burning. We work and we wait till the master's return. We'll sing and rejoice every home and desert. But we know not He will come, He will come. Let us watch and be ready. He will come. come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will come in the clouds of his father's bright glory. We don't know the hour. That message is all around. Jesus is coming, but we know not the hour. When he shall return, this promise most cheering, but we don't know the hour. There's light for the wise who are seeking salvation. There's truth in the book of the Lord, Revelation. We all know that, right? The ending. Each prophet point to the great consummation, but we know not the hour. We just don't know. He said he will come like a thief in the night. Mm. Are you ready? People, we need to take this ministry very serious. We need to take our calling very serious. We need to take our salvation very serious and be obedient children. The topic there is when god does not delight in sacrifice when god doesn't does not delight in sacrifice sorry but the question there are you doing it right we are living in the ending people and there is no time for you to play around in god's work there is no time for you to be Pretending in front of your people that you are doing good, but behind you know you're not doing good. God is watching and he will come like a thief in the night and he will know you not. He will tell you depart with all your good work. So let us go into our lesson for today. Very interesting lesson today. We will turn to... Psalms, uh, Psalms 40, verse 6 through 8, and Psalms 50, verse 7 through 23, and Psalms 51, verse 16 through 19. Let me put it on the screen for you all so you can be a part of the devotion. Yes, we are in Thursday, listen, people. And you can see it, right? when god does not delight in sacrifice no i see it better people it's not about the sacrifice we're putting out there when we read into these message we will learn a lot today some very good key points we will be learning as children of god today mm. this lesson is really 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 good matter of fact whole week lesson is good because what i love about it is worship that never ends mm -hmm. we can sacrifice but if it's in vain it's waste and god will not know you so let's keep on going as we read in this chapter when i say psalms 40 it means psalms chapter 40 verse 6 and 8 and the question there you want to read the question there for him? the question is what important issue do these texts address what mm -hmm. import what important issue 
the do these text address and why does god not delight in the sacrifice that he prescribed in his word mm. why does god why does god not delight in the sacrifice that he prescribed in his word okay psalms 40 and i read sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire my ear has thou opened burnt offering and sin offering has thou not required then said i lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me i delight to do thy will O oh my god yea thy law is within my heart this is um david who is complaining to god about his people and you know how they are doing wrong there but and yet it's said in his book in god's book right as it said there in seven then i said lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me mm -hmm. and yet his people are not doing what they're supposed to be doing yeah. you want to read this on is, to the uh, next one this this is this is a prophecy about christ yeah and what god god does not desire for the animals to be sacrificed and all that stuff there's a better because sacrifice. of their wickedness because of their things that they're doing you know accept it let's continue on as we go on and you'll understand more as we go on all right psalms 50 that sounds 50 verse 7 to True 23. 23. it says hear O my people and i will speak O israel and i will testify against 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 thee i am god even thy god i will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me right i will take no bullock out of thy house nor be nor he goats out of thy fields for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills i know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine if i were hungry i would not tell thee for the world is mine and the fullness thereof will i eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats offer unto god thanksgiving and pay the vow unto the most high and call Amen. upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me but unto the wicked god said what hast thou do to declare my my statues mm. or that thou shouldest stick my covenant in thy mouth seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee when those when those serious size a thief then thou con consentest with him and has been partakers with adulterers thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit thou sittest and speakest against thy brother thou slanderest thine own mother's son these things hast thou done and i kept silent thou Thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver, whosoever offer praise glorify me, and to him that ordereth his conversation all right will i show the salvation of god whoa that's deep you know a question here what's the important issue do these texts address why does god not delight in sacrifice that he 
preserved prescribed. in prescribed in his word. Why? Why does he not delight in sacrifice? Because you know, um, David confessing and pray for forgiveness, you know, there in 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 these right here that we will be reading now in Psalms 50. 51 verse 16 to 19 it talks about when david was praying for um for the forgiveness of sin and let's mm -hmm. go on Same. for thou desire is not sacrifice else would i give it thou the de delight is not in the burnt offering the sacrifice of god are a broken spirit a broken and concrete heart contract. oh contract heart oh god thou will not despise do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness with burnt offering and whole burnt offering then shall they offer bullet upon thy altar so um this is david who is praying and praying for the sins of these of everyone you know the the, the brothers and sisters and asking for forgiveness for their sins and um but god in 50 it plainly tells us that um in this message the key thing god does not desire obediences over sacrifice you know disobedience he does not um, god desire obedience over sacrifice i mean it's a hard yeah. thing because if you are not Same obedient it will be a, he he's not happy he will not be happy and we want a happy god right we want a happy god because when he said he's not delight in sacrifice it's because you're not being obedient and that's what he mainly look at it's not about the sacrifice it's more about the obedience it's because we are not doing it out of love at you know and it may seems but it's not mm -hmm. it may seems but it's not yeah, see, the thing is, um, the reason why the people go and sacrifice animals was because they have sin. If you don't have no sin in you, then why go and sacrifice, you know? So God said he did not delight in going to sacrifice because they make it into like a ritual. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to go sacrifice. It's like they forgot what the sacrifice Spicy really is. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's the, the your sacrifice an animal for your sins, right? Yeah. Now the people forget about that. So mm -hmm. what God is telling them is that He wants you to have a contrite heart. You mm -hmm. want to be He desire um you need to have a obedience. Good heart. You desire obedience rather than sacrifice. All right. If yeah. you sacrifice, that's mean you have sin. But the thing is, He don't want you to have sin. He don't want you to. He don't want you to commit sin, right? So, because if you commit sin, if you do not commit sin, then you don't have to go and sacrifice, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So here in our title, we see that we, that God does not happy mm -hmm. with happy in the sacrifice, you know, he's not happy. But let us read to understand more as we go on. All right. Uh, like the prophets. The psalmist decry various uh, misuses of worship. Their main point in these verses is not the Lord's aversion to Israel's sacrifices and festivals, but the reasons for such repugnance. The fatal distance between worship and spirituality. God is not rebuking his people for their sacrifices and burnt offerings, but for their wickedness and acts of injustice that they had done in their personal lives. The Psalms are not preaching against sacrifice and worship, but against vain sacrifice and empty worship, demonstra demonstrating demonstrated in the uprightness of these worshipers. When the unity between the outward expression of worship and the correct 
inner motivation for worship falls apart, rituals usually become more important in and of in themselves. Mm -hmm of themselves then does the actual experience of drawing closer to god that is the forms of worship become an end in themselves as opposed to god whom those rituals are supposed to point to and to reveal amen um i hope you understand that our viewer here jessica said for the question there, what's the um important issue to these texts address? What's important? Jessica said, not preaching against sacrifice or worship, but against those who are doing it in vain without purpose. Amen. And it's the same thing I have here on my question, on my answer. I put, God was not pleased with the wickedness of his people. They are not worshiping God in truth. It was a vain sacrifice and empty worship. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in truth. And we have to learn from these things and realize that God wants us to be really um, obedient children. You know, God wants us to do things out of love. God don't want us to do things like just, you know. Uh, um, there was a time I saw in, on, a, on a documentary where the Jews still wants to uh, we're gathering animals, you know, for their worship because they want to start worshiping again. That's some years back. I don't know if they started. I don't think they did. But um, they wanted to start worshiping again, you know, and uh, like that, you know, with offerings, burnt offerings and animals. So they were looking for animals without blemish. Sad. But what they don't understand is that Christ uh, was the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. All right. There should not be any more sacrifice for sin because Christ already did it. All you got to do is go to him and ask for forgiveness. Amen. You know, um, what God wants out of us is more than just us. He wants to work through you as his children to bring others with us. That's what God wants. When you have that new experience with our Lord, that new song we can sing out to the world, if we keep following Christ all the way, we can be a test to the greatness of him. You know, we can, we can test of his goodness, people. And this is what God wants from us. We are living in a fallen world. And there are many, many who longing to hear and see Christ's true followers as they testify of his goodness inside of their broken heart are longing for their new experience with Christ Jesus. We need to share God's word with love, not fake. Because if we do, if we go in front of our brothers and sister and do it like we are so doing it good, but then we, we people are witnessing us out there doing things that we are not supposed to do, then we are driving these people away. Yeah. And not only that, God is seeing, God is watching, right? And these people are watching us too, because they themselves is longing for God but come in his present, but then they are looking out as they are looking towards we, God's people, mm -hmm. for that hope too, you know, so that we can give them that hope. Mm -hmm. You know, God don't want us to just keep the Sabbath, give your tithes, take care of yourself or your health. He wants us to do it out of love and, re and respect for him. Mm -hmm. This is what these people, they fall short. You know, God wants us to do it out of love and respect. And if we do it out of that, we will know how to do things in the right manner. We will not fail him, you know. God loves us and care for his people. We should draw more closer to him and sing new song experience his goodness we should long to be in his present people that's 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 what i'm longing for i don't know about you are you longing for that are you doing it the, are you doing it right 
Are you praising God, right? Are you worshiping God, right? Are you doing your part, your leadership, right? Are you shining your light in the right way? Are you only doing it in front of your brothers and sisters? Then you doing bad things behind, but you're you're doing adultery, you're you're doing things that you know you're lying, you're stealing, you're you know maybe you go to work, you're doing stealing and lying and do all these things, and God is watching, and people is watching, and people is looking up to you, because when you claim you are children of God, they stick that stick in these people head, and they know, mm -hmm. they know. So we got to be very very careful. We should long to be in his presence and to be with him forever. We do good because we don't want to disappoint our creator. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we do good. We don't want to be like our ancestor and messed up. Mm -hmm. We should take example and want to do better. We should honor and praise our true heavenly father. Worship him in the right manner and with all our heart people. Mm -hmm. because of what he has done still doing and will continue to do for us this is why we are still here and worshiping him god wants us to have a new experience we can't see him but he can we can get close to know him through his plan and every step of the way as we travel on with him as he work to bring us home mm -hmm. where we will be more happier and no more sadness no more joy but for now let's go into john we will go into john it's been a while we haven't went into our old testament we are mostly in the new because this quarterly was all about sammy the sing and new song rejoicing you know get to know how to praise and worship our lord god for his wonders wondrous and marvelous work right it's all about our psalms and about how we can learn from our ancestor and grow and be 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 righteous leader for christ and don't be don't disappoint him and be unfaithful mm -hmm. keep doing being faithful children for god mm -hmm. well we have here john so read john chapter four verse 23 and 24 what point is jesus making here that fits exactly with what the psalms psalmists for today are warning about what point is jesus making here that fits exactly with what the psalmists for today are warning about Go ahead. psalms chapter 4 verse 23 3 and 24 says but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the father in spirit and in truth amen in for the spirit. father for the father seeketh such to worship him yes god is his spirit amen and they that worship him must worship him in spirit, spirit and, and in, in truth, truth beautiful beautiful a lot of people don't know that and that's why there's a lot of false worshiper out there we need to be careful they are they are wolves you know they they come like a sheepskin but they are wolves we have to be careful people because a lot of leaders is out there who are talking christ who are giving good testimony doing all these things but they are they are not really they don't re, they themselves don't understand the truth you know um mm -hmm. about the bible that's why we as children of god need to study for ourselves and worship and and in spirit and in truth right mm -hmm. so we, if we were if we study for ourselves we will learn to worship in spirit and truth we will learn to let god be the leading and let god help us rather than going looking out in other people um for help you understand when we do this evening devotion, we just give you comfort to realize and to know that there is hope through Christ Jesus. And the best thing to do is to draw close to him. This is really the point of this whole evening devotion. It's That's why we put it there, you know. You find that hope through Christ Jesus and grow close in him. And that's what we are trying to help you all with. So you can go and study for yourself and learn him and want to turn to him and be with him forever. Right? So, um... What is said, they are sacrificed in vain and they are, you know, and they are out of love. They are not doing it out of love. What was that? The question is, what point 
is Jesus making here that fits exactly with the psalmist for today are warning about what's that you know and you know with the psalmist with the psalmist you know there are sacrifice in vain as psalmist was saying and they are um they are not doing it out of love you know but um and they are not worshiping god from their heart yeah what happened is that the holy spirit must be involved all right for truth to to be understood if we cannot understand truth you know then the whole we lack the holy spirit you know if if we speak not according to the, the word of god which is the truth then it's like the holy spirit is not is not there yeah you know it's absent so that's why it's important for us to uh to to pray for the holy spirit yeah and receive the holy spirit yes amen amen that we may amen. that we might not um that we might not be confused about the the things written in the in the word of god yes. all right that we might receive the truth when we see the truth and when we hear something out there that's the truth we're going to be like yeah the bible did say that or no the bible did not say that or that's not what he meant when he said that you know so worshiping in spirit and in the truth all right and not selfish like like as i put here on the bottom as the as the in the answer you know when they are not worshiping from their heart they are selfish they don't fear god as what david was reading if we go into 40 they, clearly they are not they are not fearing god nor nor care for others on how they feel or think you understand they're just doing things and don't even care and this is sad let us continue read on reading. all right sacrifice alone are not enough yeah what good were these sacrifices if the hearts of those offering them were not filled with repentance faith and a sorrow First, with a, with repentance, faith, and a sorrow for sin. Only when accompanied by repentance and sincere thanksgiving could the sacrifices of bulls place please God as sacrifices of righteousness. Jesus, quoting Isaiah, express express it like this: These people draw near to me with their mouth. <laughs> and honor me with their lips yeah but their heart is far from me yes they're the far. problem the psalmist saw were the same problems that jesus encountered mm -hmm. with some of the people especially the leaders during his earthly missionary ministry yes people if you are a children of god and you are in leadership of church and you are going to church and you are just doing it out of vain you should ask god to help you serve him the right way if you are not show up on if, because many of us show up on sabbath morning doing his work but with uh dirty heart you understand we don't have a clean heart we don't have a clean heart it's not pleasing in god's sight people come on it's not pleasing in god's sight and as i say rock real just no dirty heart you know we're not, you're not doing it right come to terms to your wrong and ask god for forgiveness and ask him to for a fresh start ask him to create you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you you know so you can learn to worship him in spirit and truth and that will help you, you know, for a perfect heart. Only he can take away anything that is not right with his will. Mm -hmm. Only he can take it away. So even if you are a child of God, take away that pride and ask for forgiveness. Because if you know you are doing wrong, he said, ask for forgiveness, you know. And he will, he will willing to forgive you. But you need to walk in obedience. We need to learn to realize that Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice for the sin of the world. Mm -hmm right he has come to teach us how to get the first how to get that first start yeah he already come and teach us he taught us that if we read and we will learn how to do it you understand mm -hmm. so um let us let us sing that new 
long to have that new experience of joy so that so that we can welcome and enjoy the new experience of God goodness with everyone around us. They too can be a part of it. We can welcome them to be a part of this new new um new life that God has given us when we've been redeemed. Mm -hmm. This salvation is not for us alone. So let us spread the word in a right way and let us set good examples so that people can be ready for Christ Jesus and not be scared and walking away and don't want to come, you know, and serve him. Because we are, we 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 serve a living Savior and he wants us to fellowship and worship him. And when you see people is not coming around, it's because something is wrong. You know, so let us pray and ask God to help these people to to be forgiven of whatever wrong someone have done them, and let us all get together and unite together and worship with each other. Mm -hmm. It's the best thing to do in these last days. A question down here for us: How can we make sure that we, as Adventists, with all this light and knowledge? don't fall into the trap of thinking that merely knowing truth and going through the ritual of the truth is enough and if you want you can put children of god as in the adventist because it's a, it's a world devotion you know but uh, to me as children of god we should be into a close relationship with god so we can be wise enough with him you know Mm -hmm. We will be learn to be more humble. With him, we will learn to be more wise and humble, you know, humble and wise enough to know what's right and wrong and how to move around. So to me, I think we need to come in a closer relationship. We need to have that so we can have that pure love, that heart, you know, because we can know, but we can be far from being humble and mm -hmm. nice and loving people. So let us get our act together. And as the question said, think about that question. Are you doing it right? Think about it and try to work on your on your um on your way of how God wants, how you see God, it's fit to be in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for viewing. We hope you enjoy the evening devotion. You want to say anything on the end for them? Oh, just that um you know, we as God's people, we got to advertise, advertise, advertise God more, you know, advertise Christ and what he has done for us, mm -hmm. you know, and our worship, you know, our worship should be pure, you know, and um, without backbiting and talking about others, you know, yep, let true. it be pure. Yes, people. Yes. You know, um, we said a contrite heart. You know, a heart that means that you, I, I love, I love my, my Lord, I love my Savior. You know, let me draw closer to Him. You know, let me read His Word. You know, let me think about Him more often. You know, Amen, Amen. It's very important. So, people, we leave you with that encouragement. I hope you've been blessed, and I hope you do find hope through Christ Jesus as we continue um live our life. As long as you got breath, you know Christ Jesus is alive and his love and mercy is upon you. So praise him, thank him and keep talking about his goodness, you know, so others can do so you can uplift others. Thank you so much for viewing. Let us end it with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for your unconditional love. Thank you, Lord, for loving us, for being so kind to us, for always caring for us, Lord Jesus. You've been nothing but good to us, Lord. Your love and mercy endure forever. Please be with those people who are in need of you, Lord. Touch them, Lord Jesus, and help them to realize that your coming is near. Reach out to them, Lord, to your people so they can say, wow, you know what? I need to make that change. I want to be in heaven. I want to be where there is eternal mm -hmm. life and not that not down here with destruction. Mm -hmm. Lord, this world is just full of chaos. It's full of disappointment. It's full of pain and suffering, Lord Jesus. There's so many destruction out here, Lord. And only you, only you, can really help us lord jesus but lord you said these things must come true and we must endure with you so help her help us to keep having faith in you lord and endure with you forever 
create us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Help us to recognize where we're going wrong. Search us and create us a clean heart, Lord, and help us as we continue to grow as children of yours and your people out there that they may find their way to you so they themselves can be children of yours, Lord. We thank you. We love you. We praise you in your mighty and precious and holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you all. We love you. Have a blessed evening and a beautiful and blessed weekend. Good night. Good evening.